Wasi 2020 elective mathematics paper 2 question 8 the vectors P Q and R are mutually perpendicular with magnitude of Q equal 3 and magnitude of R equals square root of 5.4 if the vectors X equal 3P plus 5Q plus 7R and Y equal 2P plus 3Q minus 5R are perpendicular find magnitude of P so P, Q and R be mutually perpendicular means what? what it means is that we have two vectors P and Q that are perpendicular to each other then a third vector R is perpendicular to both P and Q so that is the meaning of mutually perpendicular vectors so these are the vectors and they are mutually perpendicular that is the meaning of it now we can proceed with our solution we are also giving another two vectors that are x and y and we are told they are also perpendicular so we can dot them so x dot y is equal to 3p plus 5q plus 7r dot 2p plus 3q minus 5r so the vectors have three components now what we are going to do is that because x and y are perpendicular it means the angle between x and y is 90 and the dot product should give us zero so this expression should be equal to zero now we need to use the definition of dot product to expand this so 3p the first component will take all of this we dot with all of this then add it add them then after that 5q also dot each of them add them and 7r will also dot each of them then we add them so that will give us this expression over here so 3p and 2p will give us this 3p and 3q will give us this 3p and negative 5r will give us this then we come to 5q we'll also take each of them then 7r each of them then we get this expression and it must be equal to zero so what do we do next we simplify p dot p will be equal to the magnitude of p squared then q dot q will be equal to the magnitude of q squared then r dot r will be equal to the magnitude of r squared so we have this after combining the like terms will give us this expression so we can go further we can simplify further by indicate the absolute value squared that is the magnitude of p dot p q dot q and r dot r we can now substitute for p dot r then p dot q and q dot r we are told that they are perpendicular vectors as we can see so if they are perpendicular then their dot product should be equal to zero so we substitute that and we can now simplify when we simplify we obtain 6 p squared now you know that magnitude of q is giving us 3 so when you square both sides you get 9 
to the subdistribute line here and magnitude of r is equal to 5.4 square root so squaring it will give us 5.4 subdistribute it here so that's what we have done and we had this expression here so we can evaluate this and we get 6p squared minus 54 equals 0 so dividing through by 6 will give us this and that will mean that magnitude of p squared is equal to 9 hence the magnitude of p is 3 so if you like this video remember to share with your friends then also comment if you don't understand something then also click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner if you have not done so yet now if you can still see this red thing here it means you have not yet subscribed so you just have to click it so that the next upload you see it is still red you have to click it so that if i upload the next video you'll be informed click the bell icon too so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe